Good day everyone, you're watching Great You Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about um, the quick steps to fix Windows 11 audio services crashing on your Windows 11 machine. And um, you can also try this step on your Windows 10 machines as well. So before, uh, without any delay, let's get started. Now, there are a couple of steps what you need to try uh, to fix a problem. The first thing what you need to make sure is that uh, you have to make sure that Windows Audio Service is up and running on the computer. How do you check? So you will have to press search. In the search, type run. In the run window, you will have to type services.msc. Click on OK. In case if you get user access from control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now under this section, you will have to look for Windows Audio. So you would see it right here. It would be in alphabetical order. You will have to make sure the status is running. In case if the status is not running, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click, go to properties. Once you're on the properties, stop the service, start the, uh, and then from the drop down, you will have to set that as an automatic. Click on apply, then click on start. Click on apply and okay. Once that is done, the next step, what you will have to do is you will have to check the another service and make sure the uh, the next service is run up and running, which is RPC endpoint. So you will have to search for RPC endpoint mapper. So make sure the service is running, the status is running. Uh, in case if it is not running, what you will have to do is uh, follow the same step as Windows Audio Service. Do a right click. Go to properties. Once you're on the properties, um, click. Uh, what you will have to do is you will have to click on start and click on apply and then click on OK. Once this is done, in case if you if any of the options are grayed out, you can live as is. Now, once these steps are done, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and check if your Windows audio services uh, are running. See if you are able to play audio on your Windows machine. Now, in spite of trying all this step, in case uh, if these steps doesn't work, as a next step, um, what you will have to do is you will have to run a local service and network service command. So in order to run this command, what you will have to do is you will have to open the run command in, um, in the administrator mode. So go back to the search and uh, type command prompt. Run as, click on run as administrator. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the run command open, the command what you need to type is net net space local group space forward slash administrator. So it is uh, plural administrators space forward slash add local service and hit enter as soon as you hit enter you would see a message saying that the command completed successfully so basically what you have done is you have added um, the local service network service command on your computer using the command prompt now once this is done you will have to go ahead and uh, try restarting the computer this should fix a problem once this is done um, you will have to go ahead and add another command which is uh, local group administrator add network service which is lo local group administrator Local group is one word, G-R-O-U-P, space administrator, space forward slash add network service. Hit enter. And uh, once this is done, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, uh, check if you are able to play the audio on your Windows machine. So this should ideally fix the problem. In case if this doesn't fix the problem, the next step of uh, what you will have to do is you will have to 
make some other uh, settings. That is, you will have to install the default sound drivers. Now, the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to disable the automatic Windows driver update. To do that, what you will have to do is click on the search and type advanced system settings. Once you have typed advanced system settings, click on it. Now, under this section, you will have to go to hardware. Under hardware, you will have to go under device installation settings. And under this section, you will have to make sure um, you click on no, your device might um, you will have to click on the option which says no, which says do you want automatically download the manufacturer apps and custom icons? For this you will have to click on no and click on save changes. Once this is done, uh, the next thing is you will have to go ahead and install the default audio driver. For that what you will have to do is the first option is to go ahead and uninstall the device driver, the audio device driver. To do that you will have to click on the search and type device manager. Otherwise, you can do a right click on the start button and open device manager. Once you're on the device manager, uh, you will have to go under sound, video and game controller, which you will find under this section, under this list. So in my case, uh, which is sound, audio and device controller. So you will have to go ahead and select the default sound drivers. So in my case, it is Realtek, which is a default driver. So what I'll do is I'll do a right click and click on uninstall device. And uh, here, once, uh, once you have this prompt, you may click on uninstall. And uh, once you click on uninstall, the default driver would be uh, uninstalled from the computer. Once this is done, once the default uh, drivers are uninstalled, then you will have to go ahead and uh, check for the hardware changes. So for that, what you will have to do is uh, you can go to action and uh, here you can go ahead and click on scan for hardware changes. It will go ahead and try to scan for the hardware changes and try to install the default driver. Once this is done, you can try to restart the computer and check if your uh, audio works. This should ideally fix the problem. Um, in case if this doesn't fix the problem as a next step, what you will have to do is you will have to install and make sure all the windows are up to date. To do that, you will have to click, uh, click on the start. Go to settings. Once you're on the settings page on your Windows 11 machine, you will have to click on Windows update. Check for the updates. Uh, install all the possible available updates for your Windows. Restart the computer and that should fix the problem. So I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.